everybody, welcome to Fruitful Trees, and I love traveling all over to see how other people are growing their fruit trees, and today we're at our friend Sam's yard, and we're going to check out what he's doing, and his plans for his fruitful yard. He has many trees that are newly in the ground, and we paid a visit to him this summer. Sam is in Central Florida in the Orlando area, and I always find it interesting uh, going to that area and seeing what people are doing there and planning there, because they have a lot more struggles with growing tropical fruit trees than we do here down south. So if you're in the Orlando area, this is a great video. This is a great guy. His name's Sam. And we're going to take a look at his yard and see what he's planning. He's at the beginning of stages of planting a massive fruit forest. He has a lot of land, a lot of trees. Check it out. Here he goes. All right, everybody. Here we are in the uh, Orlando area with Sam. And Sam's going to show us his trees that he has here. And he's got many of these trees from a uh, person I interviewed before from these trees. And we're going to... Talk to Sam here. How you doing? How long have you been at this property? Well, we've had this property for about 17 years. It used to look like what you see behind you, if you want to show them that. They're just full of uh, trees and bushes, but wow. um, my dad had them just kind of clear out the whole space. And this was empty for God knows how long. Uh, we planted trees here actually about 10 years ago, 12 years ago maybe, and they all died. The only tree that made it is that big long tree over there. Oh, wow. Um, but most of them died from the freeze. The guy that used to rent here didn't really take care of anything. So the freeze killed it, water or lack of water killed it. And then um, I guess kind of I came into the picture during COVID. Um, me and my dad went to a nursery to buy a persimmon tree. And from there on, I was like, oh, this is pretty cool. And I have nothing to do, right? So I kind of started looking at the trees. And I guess it was kind of always deep rooted in me from when I go back home. Um, I always used to like picking tomatoes and cucumbers and whatnot. So I guess it was always deep rooted in me. I was enjoying it. And then I looked online, started finding more trees. And then slowly and slowly I got to like mango trees, sapodillas, and all these tropical fruit trees. And then here mm -hmm. I am. Two, you still have that persimmon later. tree that you bought? Yep. She's, nice. there, she's back there. But she's the first tree that I planted. So it's pretty deep into the ground. I don't like the way it's planted, but it's doing well. So. Yeah, at this climate, we're in a northern climate compared to where I am in yeah. South Florida. So this is central Florida. So you get the best of both worlds. You can get some things that have lower chill or higher chill hours here. Yeah, yeah. Grow, so that's the, nice. The cold here is tricky because you never know, like what you're gonna, like, what's projected to like get. So last year, what did we get around about 30, 31? But I can show you a picture later. We, um, me and my buddy, uh, who actually built the pool house back there, we spent 24 hours, like two days, 12 hours each day, um, frost clothing and building like essentially like a house, like a frost wow. cloth house around all the mango trees. I, 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 I favor, I don't like to segregate them, but I favor the mango trees more than uh, everything else. Just because, uh, I don't know, mangoes are really special to me, so. Sure, but so I see a whole pictures later. row here of trees, yeah. and I see you got water on them as well. So these, we took the, we, these don't work anymore. Um, what okay. We, what we did about a month ago is we added uh, like sprinkler irrigation, so. Um, you like where these flags are? They're sprinkler heads now. Okay. They get like real sprinkle. Uh, okay. So tell us about the trees. Like. Uh, so what's this here? So we'll start uh, off right here. The reason I started off right here is because the first tree of the house, it's kind of beat up because this used to be in the back. It's an olive tree to represent back home. Um, I'm Palestinian. So this is pretty much a symbolic tree for me. I don't care for fruits. I don't care if it gets huge. I don't care what it does as long as it's still alive or as long as I have an olive tree here. It kind of introduces the property as like a uh, sign of symbolism for me. Very nice. Yeah. Very nice. And we can just continue. Or, you know, I have to ask you questions about jackfruit because I know your jackfruit does really well. This yeah. is uh, my honey gold jackfruit. I got this from Dustin. This is one of the first shoes I got from him. Nice. Um, it looks good, but um, I actually trimmed the middle a little bit so okay. it can kind of get some strength. But it just hasn't been doing a lot for me. I mean, I don't know if it's because like fertilizer or nothing, but um, she looks good. I'm just very angry. Does it keep growing? hasn't gotten much taller it definitely grows but i mean you got it at this size uh yeah just about yeah um how old is it a year and a half so i think um what i read is that these kind of take like a, a few years to start really popping off so um i'm i'm not gonna do much with it i'm gonna just let it do its thing but now that it's getting water i think it'll maybe start uh, yeah water is definitely gonna well. help um the weeds don't look like it's bothering it at all i think you know what happened actually when i planted this i cut the taproot off the bottom you're lucky it didn't die. Huh? <laughs> You're lucky it didn't die when I that know, happened. Yeah. So I knew that was going to slow it down. But um, either way, I'm excited for this thing to grow. And jackfruit, probably top. Honey three. gold is nice. Yeah, I, I, yeah. I, I, I wish I could have tried it. My neighbor has some jackfruits. But um, his are really good. But 
Um, I like the crunchy sweet ones, not too uh, mucusy, I guess you can say, soft. Yeah, I have a honey gold, and it, ha it just got its first little jackfruit on it. Really? Yeah. Nice. All yeah, right. So I'm excited for this to start going. Um, I just planted this uh, about a few weeks ago. It's a Novak Loquat. Okay. Yeah, from um, a Solomon Just Fruits and Exotic. Yeah, I don't, I don't know where they are. Huh? I don't know where them. You should order them online. I think they're up in North uh, Florida. Okay. Yeah. No, I mean, loquats, I feel like, are like a necessity. They're just a convenient fruit to have. They're very tough. And, now, um, how close are these trees, all these trees? Most of the trees, we try to keep them from about 10 to 15 feet apart. Okay. Our leeches are, our two leeches back there are 40. That's probably the longest they'll go. So I'd say, yeah, about 15, or sorry, 10 to 20 feet apart. Okay. Mostly. Okay. My dad really stays on my like head to not... <laughs> plant too many like these two are really close in my opinion but that's because loquat doesn't get too crazy it's an, it's an avocado. avocado it's a monroe i saw a video from you you were saying <laughs> if you have a monroe take it out and put an oro negro right well down near me it's a little bit different yeah. i don't know what's uh, how cold hardy the oro negro is compared to the monroe monroes are great workhorse avocado it's wonderful uh, -huh. uh but the oro negro tastes better and is more consistent in flavor. Monroe, you might have a great one and you'll have one that's so-so. My neighbor has it. It's a little sweet from what I yeah. remember. I, was, I, might, I don't know if it's a Lula or the Monroe I tried, but um, I think it was Monroe. It was a little sweet. But I have yeah. an oro negro back there anyways. So great. We'll there you go. You got both. Good. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is another jackfruit tree of my one. My one? Okay. I, don't know if, I think you have one, right? Don't you? I don't have a my one, but I've had it. Yeah, so like the jack, like I was saying about the jackfruits, I'm just waiting for them to start really getting to high gear and growing big because I know they get huge, and I'm kind of just gonna let them just strengthen up and can't wait for to actually try them. Uh, you never had our, jackfruit, huh? You've never had jackfruit. No, I've had my neighbors. It's fantastic. Oh, okay. What is your neighbor has trees? Um, yeah, he's all the way across the street. Okay. I got a, I know a bunch of people here that kind of have fruit trees. A bunch of wow, a bunch of old guys. <laughs> they got they got some fruit trees. Sapodilla. Yeah. This is the butterscotch. Oh, nice. So this is um, that one I got from those people I was talking about um, that I stopped ordering from. But um, this one's butterscotch. Um, I got some flowers on it right now, but I, I'm trying to figure out how to prune this to make it more bushy. I know it may be cut here, but sapodillas, it's tricky. I don't want to... I know they're very slow growing in the beginning. Yeah. I cut uh, sapodilla over there, and it hasn't even pushed, and it's been about a year. So, yeah. So I'm excited for that one. And then right here is also another sapodilla. It's a Silas Wood. Okay. But this thing's just loaded with flowers and fruit. I planted this only a few months ago, by the way. Wow. A few months ago. I haven't fertilized it yet, but it's just going crazy. Sabadeas are probably my favorite tree. Not fruit, but favorite tree because they're just workhorses. And they're very tough. And, uh, yeah, so I, I get very excited to eat these things. I got five of these. I'll show you more in the back. Nice. Yeah. This right here is um, a UQ long end. I got it from Dustin. Um, it's, it lost all of its leaves from the heat. And now it's pushed all these back. So I guess that's kind of what most of these trees like have done. They just kind of shed themselves and uh, push back. And as long as they're pushing back, and that's what I care for. I used to panic in the beginning. Like that carry over there was just loaded with yellow flowers, and now it's thriving. But yeah, I'm excited to try this one. That's also a long one, like I said earlier. But I think it's a koala. Okay. Yeah. Then you got the first tree with fruit on it over here. It's a Maha Chinook. Wow. Definitely the... This probably looks ready to pick, right? Uh, is it a little soft? You tell me you're the expert. I mean, yeah, you can you can pick it or leave it. Wait, wait, wait. I just get worried now that those guns got taken away. I get worried, but yeah, this is my matching up. Beautiful, it's definitely the prettiest looking mango, right? Definitely it's one nice. Of it's Magnum nice. Magnum Doc is so pretty. How old is that tree? This one. Yeah. I bought it in a sixty-five gallon. Probably a mistake. Definitely not worth the money to buy a sixty-five gallon tree, especially this size. This one was more naive when I was buying trees. Probably about two years ago, I bought this. Or a year and a half. Okay. But uh, there's a there's a guy um out in Apopka. What's his uh, nursery's name? So Natural Farm. His name's Luke. Okay. Great guy. Uh, that's where I got it from. Actually, I was gonna head over there, but it's a little far from here, right? Yeah, it's about forty minutes out. Yeah, I was gonna go head over there. I'm gonna go there next time. I love on that the guy. Town. Yeah, he's so nice. But that's where I got. I, I got a lot of my trees from him as well. Him and Dustin are probably the where okay. I come from. Um, this is ice cream tree. You can probably just tell by the leaf. Love it. Right? Yep. Yep. Skinny tree. Skinny love leaves. it. And I got there's only one fruit on it right here. This is the same as uh some a lot of a lot of my mangoes are about a year old. It's the only fruit I got in it right here. Um, Very nice. So I'm excited ice cream. to try this. What is this like a West Indian flavor? It yeah, has? it's creamy. It's spicy. It's delicious. I love it. Yeah, that's, that's exactly what I look for. Yeah. So one of my uh, favorite flavors of mango. Um, Yehudi mango. Okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> yep. Yep. Yehudi uh, Um This one I tried for the first time, and it was like very crispy. 
I kind of like that about it. The skin was thin and it's crispy, so um, I really enjoyed that. And I'm waiting for some Avery. I think Avery Loquat Scions. I'm mm -hmm. gonna graft onto this as well at some point. Okay. Yeah. Loquats, we we like them so much because they lo they're loaded and everyone in my family likes them. So I feel like it's like a necessary thing to have, and there's no maintenance at all. Um, just got this from Michael Gonzalez. He it's a peach cobbler mango. Um, okay. Push a little bit. Oh, I planted it like a month and a half ago. So it's doing well. As long as they're alive a week after planting, I feel comfortable. <laughs> this is my key lime tree. Um, I got to spray with neem oil because I know these things are all... Oh, well, it's got a lot of limes on there. That's good. Yeah, but the leaves start to curl. I need to fertilize it and uh, spray with neem oil. Citrus here, these are the hardest ones to take care of. They're, they're so sensitive, I feel like, and they need a lot of attention. Yeah, citrus is tricky. Yeah. And uh, this is my Ross Sapote. You know, I got a Ross from Dustin that was probably up to here. The guy had planted, he uh, planted it, he planted the graft underground oh. and it was starting to die. I was like, why is it like, why is this thing dying out? And then once it was like too late, I, I had my friend look and the graft was underground. There was like, it was trying to push. I was so excited to have it too. Cause um, I, I tried this root before and it's excellent. Kind of has like a pumpkin pie taste to it. Yeah. But uh, this is another one. I got a smaller one, so I'll just wait for it to push out. Um, yep. I used to have an ABU there, but it died from the cold, so I replaced it with a Kathy mango. Okay, excellent. Kathy, K3. Yeah. What's this one here? What do you guess? Uh, with the shiny dark green. Pickering. <laughs> Pickering, yeah, I see yeah. the tag. I feel like I, the, Why do you have a gate around this one? Um, I think, uh, is there a guard around it? Yeah, that's why. Because when I first got it, you came on the right day, by the way. Because yesterday the grass was up to like here. Oh wow, you a just... lot of it. Yeah, so you came on the right day. <laughs> good, good. Um, so I just had to guard it that one day, and I just haven't taken it out. And that's good. Okay. I might as well, right? All right. So you got Pickering, you got Kathy. Yeah. Uh, uh, a lemon tree. We don't need to give it much lemon focus. Tree. Okay. <laughs> My dad loves the citrus. I, I um I like them too, but they're just so hard to take care of. But another line. I, I we try. We keep a lot of most of them alive. But you see this like curl right here. Yeah, I think I'm supposed to spray that with neem oil, but it's just so hot, I can't really um, spray until eight o'clock. So I'm never really around at eight. Um, same as earlier, another ice cream mango. Good you know, it's choice. Funny, it's funny I never tried an ice cream mango, but I do. But I just hear great things. This kind of how it goes. I uh, I just do the research. I see. I look for. I look for majority reviews um, from like people like you or Alex, um, people in the Facebook groups, Kevin, and like. Actually, Dustin also is one of them that talk about it's one of their favorites, like ice cream. So I was like, you know what? Yeah. I like that West Indian nice. flavor. I'll get to it. Might as well. Uh, you don't have to worry about this. It's another. Okay. Another uh, citrus. Well, I got one in there, yeah. Black sapote right here. Okay. It's probably the prettiest tree on the property, I'd say. Um, it's looking the leaves, nice. The leaves are very, like, elegant looking. It's you looking got nice. On them. Hopefully they actually come through. I don't think they will. I think they'll drop What again. a great selection. Look at that, everybody. Look at, wow. That's amazing. And how yeah. much land is here? little under two acres nice yeah and uh once we uh once we live here um it'll be a lot easier to take care of these trees because um i have to drive i mean the drive's not far at all i'm only two minutes away but it's much easier to just go in and out go in and out sure sure rather absolutely. than i have to stay here and do all the work at once all right another citrus yeah, okay persian lime. persian lime this is actually one of my favorites actually it is my favorite favorite citrus persian lime. another one yeah another one that needs to get sprayed this is the sapodilla I was talking about earlier that I pruned, and um, it just really hasn't pushed in over a year. It's actually pushing right now, but it's very slow at it. Um, it used to have like a, like a branch coming from the middle. Got it from Dustin as well. Sorry, Dustin, I kind of butchered your <laughs> your gift to me, or tree. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah, it'll come back it's, as long as it's alive, and it, it'll be fine. They're very tough trees. Well, this and tree's loaded better. here. You, you, this one you can guess. Carry? Look at the shape. Oh, it's coconut cream. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Coconut cream, mango. Um, I was, I, I read, I, I was always questioning like when to pick, because I'm not an expert or like very good at uh, timing when to pick mangoes. Um, I'll ask you later about like more advice on that. Because um, every mango is different, right? So the other day I saw on, um, Sokata Grove was saying uh, to let them ripen on the tree. I like to let coconut cream ripen on the tree if you're yeah. going to eat it locally, but... Uh... Every mango is different, yep. Right. And um, I know I, I heard squirrels aren't really favored for these. They don't really like these that much. But I don't have too many squirrels. How about you? Do you have a lot of squirrels here? 
I don't know. I never see them, but overnight we lost 10 Glen Mangoes, so wow. I wonder how that happened. So, yeah. Maybe uh, it was a two legged squirrel. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know why they would come all the way over here. Yeah. Uh, Neelam Mango. Neelam, okay. Yeah, I this back in January. This thing pushed twice since January. This this small one, it pushed twice. I was actually upset about it because I wanted to push leaves, but now I'm kind of just <laughs> letting it settle. Hopefully, it starts pushing leaves again. Um, we'll go like this. Sure. And then back Perfect. Over there. Perfect. Um, I just planted this the other week. It's a Myers lemon. Okay. So that's the fruit on it. Usually I don't leave the fruit on it. That's my plant then, but uh, I decided why not. I'll just test it out, see what happens. All righty. So, uh, how old are you? I'm 27. 27. Yeah. So, you're just getting into this the last couple of years? Yeah. So, I'm a master's student, and um, I guess when I was when I started getting into fruit trees, I was an undergrad. And, um, yeah, like I said, I went with my dad to that nursery, and then, um, I wasn't really busy back then. And uh, even now, I, still, I, I, I always find time to do this stuff, so. And you yeah. said, you, and it's good that your dad's into this also. What about your brothers? Um, my oldest brother, he enjoys it. He's not, like, um, too deep into it, but he definitely enjoys coming here and, like, doing some work sometimes. My middle brother, he just likes to eat the fruit. Well, that's good <laughs> enough. If he likes the fruit, as long as he's eating it, right? He'll be encouraged to keep the trees in. Yeah, and I have, a, I have a ton of friends that come and help. Um, their, their help is awesome, and I appreciate all of them. Um, and thank God I have these people around me, and thank God for this garden. And I pray all the time that you know these trees thrive, and I can give people fruit and be able to like feed my family with uh, you know nice treats, I guess, right? Exactly. And as long as my nieces enjoy it too, and my nephew, then that's what's also important. Um, so this tree right here, I'll just say right now, this little line against the fence is uh, fig trees. Okay. They're struggling a little bit. I don't know if it's because I haven't planted high. Cause it's super hot now, but um, they definitely really dry, need water. You they're, know? they're tough. Uh, so this tree right here was originally a coconut cream. I got it from Clearwater Beach or St. Pete. I oh, know, yeah, St. Pete, and it was just a coconut cream, and I grafted onto it a fruit punch, and an orange essence right here, which it's kind of struggling. I don't know why the leaves are so tiny, but it hasn't really pushed in a while, so I don't really know what to do with that, but. This is mainly a fruit punch, and the coconut cream kind of got butchered off. So, I guess now it's just two varieties. But um, papaya right here, this thing has quadrupled in size in the past two months. These Have you been getting varieties. a lot of rain? Uh, yeah. Uh, I, w I wouldn't say as much as like a normal summer sure. um, rain, but uh, we have the sprinklers moving, so they definitely help as well. Is that our orange uh, sherbet? No. No. Not carry orange sherbet's on that side. What's that? Valkyrie. Oh, Valkyrie. Right? I wanna. Yep. Yep. I like to call it Valkyrie. I think it's a cooler okay. name. But uh, yeah, Valkyrie, Valkyrie, whatever you wanna call it. Okay. You know what? Uh, have you ever heard of um, Lukiye? Lukiye. No. It's um, um, it's a very common Arabic uh, dish. You like uh, you boil it. You boil the leaves. I don't know, but you you can probably eat it. Yeah. But uh, you boil the leaves and it turns into like a green soup. Eat it with rice or salad oh, nice. or whatever. It's just an excellent, very healthy uh, dish. And we just grow it. The grass is kind of competing with it, but that's why we love it. We got a lemon zest right here, small one. Uh, this is also from Dustin, but I decided to graft on it. We got a Venus right here. Hopefully, it actually does well because it looks like it's doing what the orange essence is doing there, staying small. And then I got a lemon meringue that I'm working on and a um, white puri. I saw your video nice, on white puri. Very nice. And uh, I decided I'll get grass for that. Very nice. Um, what kind of person is this? Starts with the S. Saijo. Saijo persimmon right here. Nice. Um, and then this is what I was talking about. So this is the Glen Mango. We just took off all the fruit now and said, we're not taking any more chances. See, like, they found their way in. And there was about 10 on this end right here. I guess the trees are just so low. Do you have raccoons or anything? Probably. We definitely have bunnies, but I don't think bunnies would do this much damage. So what I'll know. do is I'll just prune the lower branches um, and kind of just let it bush get bushy and... Uh, uh, thicken up and well, let it grow. Let it'll it be higher. fine. You know, yeah, yeah. it'll be I want to cut the lower branches. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now you have a lot of room to plant here. So why are you multi-grafting? Um, my dad is only planting too many more trees one, because we know they're going to get bigger, right? A lot of these trees are still technically small. Yeah. Um, we also need room for trucks to go through. The thing is, once God willing, that house is built and finished. Then we can strategize more of where to Got plant. It. Like no. that whole area over there is free, but we're we're no we we know we're demolishing that house, so we don't want to really have anything in the way. So I'm sure at some point or another sure. I'll start planting more, whether it's more mangoes or not. I have no idea, but um, 
Alan There's Ward, your carry right, right there. Say it again. That's a carry, right? Angie, close enough. Angie. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. How big did you buy that tree? Forty-five gallon. It was. It was. This is probably double the size of what it was before. Very nice. But it's, this has definitely been thriving. Um, mo m much more compared to other mango trees that I have. Um, but I like to shape these. Like this, this glen over here. It used to be just two thin sticks like that, right? Horrible looking. And then I just trimmed it so that it kind of started to get bushier and bushier. And now, I mean, I kind of like the shape, but I got to trim it more. This uh, off season. Yeah. Well, yeah, that, that you can, Angie's, you can uh, pick. That uh, Angie's your nicest looking tree. Yeah, yeah. I got to definitely uh, trim around. The hurricane toppled this over, actually. Wow. Yeah, so my buddy came and he helped me stake it back up. And same year, it's thriving, right? Nice. I, this had way more. It's probably had twice as much mangoes um, earlier. Uh, a little bit, a little bit less than that, but um, yeah. You, later on, you can definitely try to take see which one you think is ready. Okay. I know Alex is his favorite, right? One of his. Yeah. yeah. So it's it's excellent. It's uh, to exactly. me, it's just a better version yep. of carry. Yep. Exactly. Uh, super hot avocado. This super thing's hot. this thing's doing great. It used to look a little bad, but it just picked up all of a sudden. See how we have a bunch of like grass in there. That always bugs me, but uh, I want. I think during the winter, I'll uh, start pulling and tilling and sure. covering up. Try to let these trees grow bigger. This is a um, careful over here. Uh, this is a Lula avocado. Okay. Yeah. Um, did I get this from Dustin? Yeah, I did. I got this from Dustin, and anything I get from Dustin, I probably let you know. Uh, this is a this is the Ornegro. Okay. Still small, but you know it's actually been growing a lot since I planted it about a month and a half ago, two months ago. It's gonna grow nice. It's gonna yeah, grow it looks beautiful. Like it. I, I, I gotta look up uh, some videos on trimming avocados, and I haven't really. Um, I assume maybe the same as mango. Uh, yeah, I mean I have some videos on it. I think. Yeah, so I gotta figure that out. That would stay on the edges because I don't know if there's holes randomly. Uh, okay. Another papaya. I planted papayas in four corners, and each one is doing better than the other. Right. As you go this way, it's kind of funny. This is a multi-grafted mulberry. It originally, I think, was a Persian. My dad told me it was a Persian mulberry. I don't know if that's what it actually was. Um, and that's what this is right here. So this right here is the, per is the original. And then I grafted two great white Pakistanis from my neighbor's yard. And then um, I guess this is a Turkish uh, mulberry right here. So multi-grafted. And uh, I think next year it's going to be a really uh, fun year for mulberries for me. Or for us, I'd rather. Um, the one I'm most excited for, the Sugarloaf Mango. Oh yeah. Yeah, I got two of these. Another one in the front. We'll get there eventually. But um, Very right good. now I'm trying to shape it. Um, and it's kind of shaping how I want it. It used to just. This is from uh, Dustin as well. It used to just be like this. Just a little like a one piece stick, and now it's spreading out, kind of how I like it. My dad was messing with this uh, pomelo, pink pomelo tree. Probably this is probably one of the best pomelos I've ever had. It was so sweet when we wow. had it, but it got. I don't know what happened. It got decimated. Um, so now we're trying to help it recover. My dad really loves like citrus, like I was saying. So he's he did some work on it, and hopefully it helps it. Chocon on, chocon on mango, the miracle mango. Yep. Hopefully this uh, fruits as late as people say it will. Um, my neighbor actually has a chocon on, and he, I think he had mangoes back in November. Wow. Late October, November. I remember he, him having some mangoes. So hopefully this thing does the same. We got a Geffner Adamoya here. This is the Adamoya or Anona section. Okay. Um, we got some Adamoyas on the tree right now. Oh, well, there's hiding. I uh, I saw I, I hand pollinate uh, most oh, of these. Oh, nice, very nice. Um, because I, I know Geffner is self pollinating. Um, but I kind of like have a lack of trust <laughs> with it. So I used to have rotten fruit. I remember Har was saying that you know it's best to have a uh, rotten fruit on the ground to help bring pollinators and um yep. i think what I, I what i might do as well next time is i'll spray with a uh, fish fertilizer to bring the smell or whatever um another no it's prisley no this is gaffner and that's prisley okay um, I, I cut this the other day it's already pushing back it was up to here but it was very just lanky so i'm kind of trying to help it push out and um it's pushing so i don't care if it fruits or not i don't care if a lot of these fruit trees fruit within the next year or two my, my, I, I want my dad to try him. Um, definitely, I mean, he, he, he's he's very healthy, thank God. But um, either way, I know he's he, he like likes to rush. <laughs> he wants to try these now, so I'll definitely try to keep some fruit for him. But to me, I don't really care. I, I just want them to grow. 
Um, Geffner as well. Uh, this is from uh, Belson as well. This is one of my best looking autumn wines. Sugar, not sugar, loaf, sugar apple, yeah, sugar apple. Uh, sugar tree. apple. This one I think I might prune. Um, actually, no, I don't need to. But uh, yeah, this is a sugar, sugar apple. Definitely uh, inferior to autumn oils, but still a delight to, to eat. This is the big lemon zest. I'll leave this one alone. I'm not going to graft on it. That's why I'm actually grafting on that one. Guys, it's got another one here. Yeah, I got a big one, so. Um, Wonderful mango. Yeah, I can't wait to try it. I, <laughs> My tree is loaded. I'm, I'm ordering from Alex, and I'm hoping to that he puts a lemon zest in the box <laughs> uh, whenever I get a delivery. Um, this is the first lame you see. Uh, You're the only one I know growing mame here. My neighbor does. Oh, really? But most of his tend to fall off. It's, it's, they it's, get like softball size. They um, don't take the chill too well. They don't. They, take, they get about softball size and then they start falling from what I've noticed. But he says he's had some ripe, uh, ripe ones. What kind is that one? Uh, Pantene or Key West. Okay. Yeah. How old is that? Um, I planted it uh, a year and a half ago. But it was about the same size when Dustin gave it to me, or when I bought it from Dustin. But it's definitely uh, pushed out like a few, few inches. It looks great. Um, so I'm just letting it do its thing. Um, it survived the cold this year. So it looks great. It seems, it seems tough to me, but I guess uh, when it starts fruiting, uh, we'll see what it does. Uh, custard apple. I'm not big on custard apples. Um, they do taste good. I just really like it because it's off-season. Yes. Um, I, 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 these are ripening over here like an April. Which kind did you taste? It was good. It was San Pablo. Okay. It wasn't like a Geffner to me, though. Oh, really? Like okay. Geffner to me, I, I love the taste of autumn oils and cherimoyas. Um, there's a guy from California we ordered cherimoyas from. His name's Hatton. He's also in that group. And those cherimoyas are just unbelievable in flavor. Unbelievable. There's nothing in comparison um, in terms of the Nona family, at least. What is this? Oh, this is a grafted Ugly Betty. It used to be an Alfonso. Okay. And we all know Florida doesn't do well with Alfonso, yes, right? Yeah. So I grafted Ugly Betty onto it. And I'm trying to get this white Peary to work on it. I'm hoping it really does so I can just have Ugly Betty. Who told you how to graft? Just uh, in, looking at the internet. Um, yeah, I, I've looked on truly uh, um, tropical. They've I've seen some videos from them, some from uh, Dr. Richard Campbell. Just took some videos from them. But, um... My friend, my buddy, um, Harun, he, he has grafted some of these as well. Um, so it's kind of both of us kind of working on grafting these trees. But he, he, he's also showing me how to like do it. But my biggest problem with grafting is getting the slice perfect. That's so hard. I don't know how he does it so well, but I can't. Um, white Sapote. Which variety? Do you know which I'm variety? I'm so excited for. Redlands. Nice. Perfect. I just don't want a white Sapote that has bitterness in it. Yeah. Like, um, I know my neighbor has a white... Sapote and it has like a bitter taste to the skin, but when you get it without that bitterness, do you know what kind he has? I think it's a seed one. Okay. Yeah, but um. When you say your neighbor, not like them, it's somebody that lives nice. in the area. Okay. Uh, um, but I've tasted a good white sapote. It's literally like you're tasting caramel flan. Yep, it's, it's amazing. unbelievable. It like is. How, how, how God made these fruits that yep. just taste so different, like desserts. Amazing. That's a passion fruit vine, by the way. Okay, passion fruit. Yeah, I, I like to self pollinate some of them, but it doesn't. So that that one's sick. The bet the good ones are over there. Hopefully, okay. I can give you one. There should be some. Another one that I'm extremely excited for, and I've kind of messed with it a little too much, in my opinion, uh, is M4. M4. Nice. Yeah, I, I messed with it a little too much on the pruning because, like I said, I'm still trying to get really good at, you know, the pruning, the grafting, the, you know, caretaking with all these trees. I mean, nothing much has really died on me except from cold, but um. I uh, pruned a little, I think, too much, but uh, and they're staying skinny, which is what I don't, what I don't like. But it'll it'll be fine. I got two leeches over there. Actually, we'll 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 go here, and okay. then we'll kind of go in the middle, and then go back up. Egg fruit or kind of stuff. Okay. It has a bunch of flowers on it, but um, no fruit as of yeah. This is the first year of flowers. So what I noticed with um really most fruit trees, but especially the um sapote family. Is uh, the first year they flower after I plant them, they, the flowers tend to fall off. So I kind of expect it to do that, but um, we'll see. I don't know if I just saw it. No, it's not a fruit, but we'll see what it does. I, I don't mind if it drops or not. Um, Ruby Supreme Guava. This is the first time it flowers since I bought it. Nice. So any advice on not getting bugs in them? 
Mike told me to pick them before they go a little yellow, or as soon as they go yellow. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. I mean, I'll, I'll do some research and hopefully figure it out. There's some varieties that have the bug less than others. I heard Ruby does have less. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, but, you know, I feel bad. I bought this white sapote and it's kind of just like uh, struggling. This is from uh, Julian. Uh, it's the um, Campbell. Campbells. Yes. It's the Campbells. And it hasn't really done much. Um, this is an area, for some reason, this area of the property has had three trees. This is the third one. And the two, no, yeah, the two prior have died. I'm really hoping this one pushes through. Um, but I planted it so small. So I don't know if it's like a, I, I assume it's struggling from the heat. But I give it water all the time. Maybe I just have to give it more water. But yeah, I like to wait till they're a little bigger before I get them in the ground. Say to, oh, yeah. Well, I, I asked the mango group, and they said put it in the ground now, but all of them said plant it in the ground. I was like, all right, I'll take y'all's advice. And that's in the fourth papaya. There was one back there, but this is okay. the smallest one. It's kind of weird, right? How from there to there to there to there, it gets bigger, smaller, smaller, smaller. Weird. That kind of yeah. says something about the, the soil, right? Well, you could say, you know, this area, maybe something's going on. Yeah, yeah right? This tree is struggling. This one might be too, so who knows what's going on here. I got to figure yeah. it out, but hopefully that stays alive because I'm really excited to try that. No, I'll just buy another one and plant it somewhere else. So this is the first one that I was talking about. Wow, um, beautiful. Yeah, it's about tripled in size since I bought it. But you see how low it's planted? I don't like that. Um, this, my dad uh, raised the ground here a long time ago. Um, and uh, I guess it, this is kind of where it starts to dip. But I planted it, I guess, base level and it just started to sink. Now I plant it about three inches above ground, but it's doing well. What kind is it? Fuyu. Nice. I think just a regular Fuyu. Um, and it tastes great. But uh, as long as it's still alive, then I, I mean, I'm not really too. Looks like it's it. doing okay. Yeah, I'm not too caught up on it being yeah. deeply planted. Um, I'll just stay right here and we'll go in there. But okay. um, banana trees, ice cream bananas, all of them. I need to cut them and let it only have like two or three. But yeah. every time I cut it, they just grow back. So I need to like stab the inside, I guess, right? To kill it. <laughs> That's the orange sherbet right there. Okay. Now that one I pruned to make it bushier. So this one I'm kind of proud of is doing okay in terms of uh, shape. Careful in this area, you might get some fire in. My, this is my favorite tree on the property. It's not my favorite fruit on the property. Alano? Favorite tree. You got it. Alano sapodilla, yep. Um, it's just it's just a workhorse, man. I mean, this thing has been killing ever since I planted it. This is from Dustin, actually. Um, and so is that rose apple. That rose apple is a trip. I mean, it gets so much rust, but I need to cut it I need to cut the inside and spray with some copper, I think. Wow. Um, this is a pineapple pleasure that we grafted. That is for my friend, M4. Um, and then over here, we got some passion fruit. We'll go around there later. Okay. And if I find some ripe ones, I'll definitely send some your way. Um, this is the green sabote we were talking about earlier. Yeah. It, you see how oh. it's droopy? Yeah, but no, right now. I don't know now. if that's its natural habitat, or natural look, rather. I don't know what habitat. I've only seen natural them look. tall, but. It looks like it's hanging in there. Yeah, it's been in the ground for a year and a half. Same time as that Alano's been in the ground. It just hasn't really gotten much bigger. It just, every every time the leaves push, it just droops. And when it flowers, the, the flower falls off. So, I don't know. I mean, Dustin told me that with my maize, it can take years for it, the flowers to actually adjust. And oh, flower. yeah. Not to just start fruit flowering, but even when it starts flowering, it can take a few more years to actually push fruit. So we'll see. I don't know. It's a, it's a real trip, honestly. Um, this is Djibouti Kaba. Um, it used to look so much better than this, but I guess because it's summertime, um, maybe it's not getting as much water as I would like. Because my thing with water is like, uh, you I have all these, I have these mangoes with fruit on it, and I don't want to water them too much. But at the same time, I want to water things like a Djibouti Kaba that loves water. And they're in the same zone, so it's kind of just hard to, to, I guess, pick my poison, right? By the way, I mean, it's doing well. Yeah. And hopefully next year it'll fruit. I got a red Djibouti Kaba here. This special tree is another Djibouti Kaba, but this one used to be planted. Remember I told you we had a bunch that died? Yeah. So this one was just stranded in the middle of the property. Um, no water ever. Was full of this little lichen looking disease. It was like up to here. Never fruited or nothing. Um, just completely abused for years and years. And then we moved it back here and now it's doing this. So I'm hoping it makes fruit soon. But it's peeling, so that's a healthy sign. Yeah, absolutely. So I hope Good. I didn't forget the fruit. <laughs>
Jamoricaba. That's a pumpkin pie, my man. Oh, nice. That's looking nice. Very nice. Yeah. Where'd you get that from? Dustin. Dustin. He's the only guy that knows. Well, I guess some more people saw it now, but he's the only guy I knew yeah. that sold it before. And this is a pina colada mango. Okay. Yeah. Um, then we'll head out to the front. You got figs all around the pool, you said? Yeah, this is uh, another one of those traditional symbolic fruits for us. The, the fruit over in um, Israel, Palestine, whatever you want to call it, is just fantastic. But um, the figs are just incredible. Uh, let's see. Cut this part out, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll edit it. Um, it's all right. Oh, here. Actually, the last tree. Sweetheart. Sweetheart. Nice. You got a sweetheart right here. You ever tasted it? No, but I'm excited. Yeah. I know yeah. there's mixed opinions about it, right? Uh, Most people love it. Yeah, so as long as... uh. Most people like. I mean, from the description of the taste, it sounds fantastic. So. Yeah, but uh, it's growing on me. I used to not like it, but it's growing on me. Yeah, there you go. I mean, it, it, that's actually what happens to me a few times with some mangoes. Um, actually, some fruits rather is that like the first time I won't like it, and then the more I try it, the better it gets. Like black sapote. Yeah, so that's uh, definitely a tree that it took me a few tries to actually really enjoy it. And then when you think about like how healthy they are. That just makes it taste better, I guess. <laughs> yeah, they're in the persimmon family. Yeah, isn't that crazy? I mean, the white sapotes in the citrus family is just weird to me. Yeah, it's very strange to me. So what do you got with the orange defense here? Why is that there? For when we start building, we don't want any trucks kind of just yeah, got backing it. up into the tree and stuff. You want to just like over this? Here. What's that? Oh, you can say that. Uh, this is Jamaican cherry. Nice. Yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah, you got right when you eat some if you want. Yeah, um, no, I got a ton at home. Um, yeah, these things. You're making so cherry? Huh? Yep. Yeah. Like cotton candy berries. Yep. <laughs> they are pretty much. Uh, rosy gold. Rosy gold, that's pretty This one I have to, I have to really prune this one to start shaping out right. It's nice. Now you know, I, it's nice. No, I know, I like it. Yeah. But it used to droop. Carry. I tried grafting a sassy love on this, but it didn't work out. Unless it's sneaking on me. Another, just a yellow Jamaican cherry. And this is the longin. I'm pretty sure it's a koala longin, but I don't know. It tastes good. That's all I care about. Well, you got a good space because they grow wide, so you got a good space here. Yeah, it's been that. here for about 15 years. This is the biggest it's Wow. Got. Kind of crazy. What's this? Malika. Malika, the all right. The mango on the property. Yeah. Uh, my brother just get, just gave me one from his neighbor, and it tasted fantastic. Got it at the right time. Yeah, but that tree's older, I guess. So I guess the older tree, the easier it is to pick them. Uh, from Dustin as well. <laughs> this one got brutalized by the hurricane. You see this right here? Yeah. It ripped from here all the way down to there. Wow. So what's the green stuff you put on there? Some tree root? root just here? Paint. Okay. paint. Just standard paint. <laughs> okay. I don't know if that was the smartest what idea. What kind of tree is it? Sweetheart lychee. Okay. I don't know if it was the right move to put paint, but I just saw something that said put paint over it so the sun doesn't burn it, but I guess it's is a specific type of paint that you could use? No, you could put any paint, but uh, but I don't know. We'll find out. That's doing fun. Uh, I just know there's a leachamite disease, and I spray it with sulfur to make sure it doesn't really get it. Um, winter Mexican avocado. Okay. Yeah, you got one right here, actually. So there's two? Yeah, on. winter yeah, Mexican. I got to prune it, though. This one, I, I've never touched. Three, actually. Okay. Four, five. This one I air layered from my house. Um... Like I said, I live five minutes away. I have a leech tree in the long and tree, and that's all I have there. But um, I like the leech I have so much. I don't know what it is. It might be a Brewster. Um, but I decided to air layer and plant it here. So only thing I worry about leeches is the that leechy mite, and that's about it. But other than that, they're, they they thrive in this area. Last two trees, sugarloaf mango. I just planted this. Okay. Can't wait to try it. And then Namdak Mai over there. Namdak Mai. All right. A lot worse than that, and now it looks fantastic. Well, man, I could tell your passion for the trees. You're yeah. doing great. Just keep yeah, it up and keep studying and, and yeah. keep following everyone. And yep. you, you'll figure this is nothing. You're doing great here. You'll figure it yeah. out. The thing that, that gives me the most anxiety, I guess, is the, the weeds and the grass here. But besides that, it's, it's fun. When the winter time comes, we do our, I do my best to wrap these trees up and make sure they survive. In a couple of years, this place is going to be rocking, man. Yeah, and I can't wait yeah. for it, man. God willing.
Well, thanks a lot, Sam, for showing us around, and we look yep. forward to coming back and seeing the progress that you have here. It's great having you here, man. Anytime right. you come here, just let me know. All right, man. All right. All right, everybody. That was Sam in Orlando. Thank you, Sam, for having us on the show. If you have a yard wherever you are in Florida, especially South Florida where I am, and you want me to come and film, my email address is below in the description. Please contact me. I'd love to come out and check it out. I'd love to get back to Sam's house in a couple of years and see how that yard is developing and all those amazing trees. Uh, and again, that was Central Florida, Orlando. And people always ask me, can we grow trees in, in Orlando or north here of where I live? And it's possible. You don't know without trying. And there might be some time to invite freeze and you might have more challenges keeping them alive. But it's possible. So I have other interviews. I'll put some links below with people who have been growing trees in the Orlando area. And I have some more coming up. Until then, everybody, have a great day. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe if you're not already subscribed, and please share this with others. Until then, everybody, have a wonderful, blessed day, and keep growing.